Today I'm going to be doing an update for my Pan That palette for 2016. It has been over two months since I last updated. I've not been highly motivated to film recently. I've just been busy and the school year has been kind of chaotic. And so I haven't updated, but I thought I would update you now because I feel like I've had some good progress in the last two months. So the first palette that I have, I am calling Done. This is the Clinique Color Surge eyeshadow duo in Pink Tweed. I've had this for forever. This was my go-to palette in high school and I went through one of them that I threw away in a declutter last year, I think. And then this is what I have left. So there's the tiniest bit of powder left in the corner, but I'm calling it good. I actually finished off this color a couple months ago, and then this color I depotted into another palette so that I wouldn't have to use three different palettes that I have going all at the same time. So I depotted that into my Maybelline Eye Studio in Mad for Mauve, and then actually my cats knocked this off of my desk, and then what was left of it, I'd used up most of it. There wasn't too much left, but my cats knocked it off my desk, and what was left of it disappeared. So I'm calling this a success that this is done now, so that's exciting. The next one that is closest to being done is my Maybelline palette in Mad for Mauve. So I'm going to show you guys the progress of where I was at my last update. Alright, so these two colors I had finished off quite a while ago. I'd repressed that second color from the Clinique duo into this one, and now that one's gone as well. And so all I have left that I'm working on is this burgundy color. I have made a lot of progress. I only have this last half down here, so I've cleared off that edge. I'm making a good dent down here, so I use this in my outer corner, and then I use it under my lash line pretty much every day. Um, this green I've mentioned a couple of times, it looks like it should be so pretty and it kind of swatches okay, but when you actually put it on the lid it just disappears, which makes me really sad because I want to love that color, but it just, anytime I use it, my eye looks just make me angry. So I'm just finishing off this one and then I will call this quad done. So that's that. The next palette that I've been working on is my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and this is the number one one. And I've had some really good progress in this. I've been using one of the colors as a face highlight. And so I feel like I've made really good progress in this. I still have a long ways to go for sure. But I'm really proud of the progress that I've made so far. The main reason I'm painting this is because the packaging is broken up and busted. And I've really enjoyed using this palette. But it's time for it to kind of move out of my collection because I can't really travel with it easily because of the broken packaging. First I'm going to show you guys what this one looked like at my last update. Alright, so here is my Naked Basics palette now. So this one I've cleared out almost all the product down here. I just have this part up here left. I've been using this as a face highlight as well as all over my lid for the most part. And I've really been enjoying it as a face highlight actually. It works really well for that. I know that this one will be done by the time the year is over. Foxy I've been using as a brow bone highlight and then sometimes helping out with transitions and that's all I've been using it for. I do have a pretty good pan there. I don't think I'm going to finish it before the end of the year. Walk of Shame here I use in conjunction with Naked 2 and so this one almost always goes in my crease and this one kind of goes above it to blend it out make it a little bit more of a seamless transition. So both of those have really good pan in them. I'm working on clearing out this part up here but I don't think I'm going to be done with either of those by the time this year is over. It's already the midway of November so I think this is going to be the only one that I completely finish off but I am really excited about the progress I've made on these four shades. I am not touching this one at all. I had no intention of using up that black. I started using faint every so often just in the outer corner to deepen up looks just a little bit, um, but it's not consistent use, so you can't really see a whole lot of progress there. But I am really excited about the progress on these four. I've completely cleared out this bottom, and now I'm working my way up from here. So I'm going to keep working on this. Even if I don't finish it by the end of the year, I'm going to work on finishing up these four colors, and then I'll probably do pot that one if I still have that one left. So that's Pretty good progress though. I know this one will be gone by the time the year is over for sure. The last palette that I've been kind of working on on and off, so those other three palettes I've mentioned the most because I've been using those the most, but then I also had mentioned that I wanted to use up this little sampler from the Revealed 2 palette. This one's in the one called Ballerina that I got from Birchbox. So this one I hadn't had much progress in up until this last the last couple months. I've been using it just a little bit more frequently. So there's a little bit more progress in those. There's pan in one additional shadow that wasn't there before. So I'm going to go ahead and share that with you as well. So this is what the progress looked on it at the very beginning of the year. Here is the Ballerina Quad. So I've made more pan in this color. This is always my overall lid color. And then you can barely see it, but there is just the slightest hint of pan in this one that I usually use in the outer corner and into the crease. And then this is usually all over my lid and this is usually in the outer corner. So there's not a ton of product in this one, um, but I don't use it all that often. I should just really 
focus on this one and finish it up at some point. But um, yeah, there's a little bit more progress at least. There's a tiniest bit of pan, you can see it right there, the tiniest bit of pan there, and then this one's completing. I probably won't finish this color or this color. Neither of them are good enough that I'd keep, but I think once I finish that color, I'll probably call this quad good just because it's not anything special and I have the full size. So that is it for my Pan That Palette update for 2016. I feel like I'm making really good progress, so I have one palette out of the way. I have one that should be done by the end of the year for sure, and then the other ones I feel like I've made really good progress in. The one thing that is different about this year from last year is I've been mixing in a lot of other palettes. So I haven't just been focusing on these four. I've really been missing my other palettes. I actually repurchased the Lorac Pro one that I pam last year because I'd been missing it. Looking back at my old videos and seeing the eye looks from there, there were some really nice colors in that palette. So I rebought that one and I've been playing with that one. I've been playing with my Lorac Pro 3 and 2. I've been mixing in the Chocolate Bar palette. So I've been using lots of different colors and stuff in conjunction with these. And so I feel like the products haven't been going as quickly as my ones did before because I've been just using a lot of stuff with it so that I'm getting good use out of all of my products and not just focusing on these alone. So I'd love to know if you guys are doing a pan that palette. Let me know that in the comments below. I would love to go check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.